Hey guys, going on Nivens here, time for your weekly rock wind up. Well, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland announcing 15 nominees for this upcoming year, and they are the Paul Butterfield Blues Band, Chick, Green Day, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, Kraftwerk, Marvelettes, NWA, Nine Inch Nails, Lou Reed, Smith, Spinners, Sting, Steve Ray Vaughan, War, and Bill Withers. Uh, fan voting until December 9th over at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame website, and then next year in April, the, uh, the, uh, the, the ones that win subsequently will be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Well, as you may recall, in a previous Weekly Rock wind-up clown from Slipknot saying that next weekend's Knot Fest out in San Bernardino, California, he wants to give the maggots something a little extra to remember their time at Knot Fest by burning camel feces. Yes, camel feces inside of drums gives off a particular odor that he says will make people be whisked away to remembering their time at Knot Fest. Now, the officials in California are saying this isn't going to happen because you can't burn oil in public or something like that, which basically makes the entire state of California illegal. Anyway, I digress. Uh, I, I guess I'm not still going to try and figure, a way, figure out a way around this as more of the details unfold about camel poop at Knotfest. I'll make sure to fill you in. Well, it seems that downward spiral for Travis Meeks of Days of the New keeps going deeper and deeper down. If you recall, after a basically botched abortion performance in St. Louis earlier this year, earlier this month, actually, the entire band, which was the original entire band, disbanded. Meeks found some players, and then he subsequently got arrested in Portland, Maine, because he had an outstanding warrant for uh, possessing a hypodermic needle in Indiana. Uh, Indiana, Indiana, excuse me. So uh, Meeks getting booked, getting charged, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> At some point, you gotta wonder, like, dude, you know? I mean, even Scott Weiland, for that matter, is clean. Yeah. Speaking of troubled uh, frontmen, uh, Puddle of Mud putting out a new song this week and uh, also announcing a, a late, later on this year, or rather, I should say, continuing right now, running into later on this year, tour in support of, uh, I guess, a new album. Though, uh, no stops in Kansas City. I guess we'll just kind of wait with bated breath to see if he comes back home. And to close out your weekly rock wind up, speaking of new stuff, Foo Fighters kicking out a new jam this week, Something From Nothing. It was recorded in Chicago, and it's coming from the forthcoming album, Sonic Highways, which will be out in November on the 10th. Of course, tonight, HBO premieres the new docu-experience, documentary, uh, whatever you want to call it exactly, just chronicling, obviously, the Foo Fighters in the eight different cities, and they recorded the eight tracks for the new album. Uh, of course, they had a week-long stint on Letterman, and uh, they're staying super busy as they've been just, like, gigging in small places is all over the place, of course, in, in anticipation for the new album. I'm Nivens. Thank you very much for tuning in to your Weekly Rock Windup. Of course, on a side note, congratulations to our boys in blue, Kansas City Royals, uh, taking on the San Francisco Giants. Game 1 will be Tuesday at the K. Game 2 also at the K on Wednesday. And then from there, they'll go to uh, San Francisco. And we'll see if they can keep this... I, I don't want to be cliche and say this miraculous streak alive, but come on, 8-0 in the playoffs, the best postseason record yet. Hold it together, fellas. Do what you do, and you'll obviously bring home, or I should say, take the crown. Have a great weekend, and go Chiefs as well on Sunday. Peace. And yeah, look at this. Oh, man. Shoe fly, don't bother me. No more shoe fly. Don't bother me. No more shoe fly. Don't bother me. No more shoe fly. Don't bother me. No more. Shoe fly, don't bother me, no more.